and who else do we have for today? Uh, so we're going to be having uh, another match for the folks at home. Mew Squared versus Jason. Uh, the Mewtwo proved pretty effective against um, against uh, Sheik uh, and against Zenryu's Falco as well. But he's going to have to deal with a different spacey. Jason, especially if he has that brush down style, might prove to be a lot of trouble for Mew Squared. And the fact that Fox has great KO options off the top is going to mean a, a world of trouble for such a light and floaty character like Mewtwo. Yeah, uh, Jason, just uh, an absolute monster getting the, uh, boy, what what combo is it? I believe it's the uh, jab up smash combo. Or no, the drill up smash combo is what he loves a lot. Um, and that will be a little harder for, him to, uh, harder for him to connect on a character like Mewtwo. Um, so we're going to see if he can get it off here. Um, already taken 36%, but still in the lead. Hanging in one of those drills like you mentioned before, but way too low of a percentage for us to expect any kills yet. I like Mew Squared's use of tilts though. For him, this game is going to be all about figuring out ways around those aerials, because if Jason starts his aerial pressure, it just might be too much for Mew Squared to handle. Yeah. Uh, Jason, not playing as much of the uh, pressure game that you wanted to see from him. He's still running in there and getting out a lot of quick hitboxes. Uh, but Jason is a little bit more of a patient Fox player uh, as compared to some other uh, bigger ones that we might see around. Yeah, I mean, but I've seen Jason turn it off. I've seen him go in. Doesn't look like we're going to be seeing it just yet, though. Musquirt scooping up Jason. You know that Fox is definitely on the lighter side of this game, that's, but he's still a pretty fast faller. And that's why we saw him go for that back throw instead of that up throw. So now he's looking for a way to get Mew Squared off the top. Mew Squared obviously doing the same. Back throw will take it. I was thinking he was going to look for an up throw, but uh, we'll do it just the same uh, as Fox. Also, uh, not exactly a heavy character. Yeah, it's one of the lightest, actually, as far as it goes. Mew Squared trying to find the forwarder afterwards. Ends up getting stuffed out a bit. Jason has that stage control that he needs, but he's had some trouble actually ending this stock, which I find very surprising. Yeah, uh, I liked the uh, recovery mix-up from Mew Squared where he uh, didn't use his double jump, he just teleported right to the ledge, and I think that threw Jason for a loop, and he wasn't able to get a punish off uh, as quickly as he wanted to. And here's the other thing. Look at how often Mew Squared is using his shield. He understands that Fox in this game doesn't have as many follow-ups off of grabs, so he's a lot more comfortable using shield, understanding that the worst that could happen is a grab. Yeah, and uh, great job by Jason there to call out Mew Squared's uh, aerial position with that up air. Um, he's been doing a pretty good job of uh, finding Mew Squared in the air, which is pretty difficult to do with Mewtwo. Uh, but Fox, as such a quick character with as much mobility as he has, um, has been having a whole lot of problems with it. So this is where Jason was able to capitalize before. He gets that forward air, but it doesn't fully execute. Mew Squared is able to avoid a decent amount of damage. There's a nice nair from Mew Squared, but Jason calling out that dash back. Mew Squared that nice grab, hoping to maybe find a nice follow-up here as well, but doesn't quite secure it as Jason is starting to find a little bit of an offensive of his own. For Jason at this point, it's going to be all about dealing with that patience from Mew Squared, and he wasn't able to do so there. Mew Squared did a great job of mixing up how he'd counter some of the aggression. We saw a lot of perfect shields, and that time he tripped up Jason as well. He thought he had a little bit more time to bide, but the second that he committed to that jump, Mew Squared already had that forward air ready to go. Yeah. Um, Mew Squared has uh, been doing what Jason's been doing well, which is calling out where he's going to be. Um, and of course, with Mewtwo, some of the uh, floatier combos that you get, mostly leading into forward air. Um, he's been getting those all day today, and uh, yeah, it's been looking pretty solid for him so far. Definitely. Mew Squared uh, coming up on top with game one. Bit of a surprise for me. The more surprising I feel is this counter pick. That being said, uh, if, given the fact that Fox is such a fast faller, he can wreak absolute havoc and be, have so many mix-ups from those platforms, right? Yeah. Because now he has those like short hop aerials, but he also has running off platform aerials, and that combination might prove to be pretty devastating for, for Mew Squared on this uh, stage. Yeah, and I'm thinking that this game is going to run a little longer than the last one, as with all these platforms, they're going to be uh, jumping around a lot, like you said, uh, just kind of maneuvering around each other and trying to find a punish. Um, and therefore, it's just going to be taking a little bit longer to get to those kill percents. Yeah, and for Mew Squared, because of the way that the stage is in relation to the side blast zones, it's going to be a little bit more damage necessary before you can really nail Jason with one of those back throw KOs. Yeah, Jason, interestingly, uh, holding a shield on the edge uh, the whole time there, not wanting to uh, chance it on uh, saying, I'm going to shield this on reaction because I know I can. And uh, playing it a little safer, ooh, a little too far on the up smash. 
and he had an opportunity there, but froze up a little bit. Man, those neutral airs from Muscrit have been so tough for Jason to find a way around. He's been throwing out offensive options, but those slight disjoints have been catching him pretty consistently. Good drop down neutral air by Muscrit. I think that uh, would have covered a lot of options, but he activated it just a little bit too late. Jason and did a great job in that last game calling out a lot of those rolls back, but not quite this time. Jason landing that nair. I was expecting a lot more. B Square not able to really find the follow up either. A bit of a shaky play from both players to some extent, but at these high percents, it's hard to follow up. Jason finally getting one on the board. Really big play for him, but Mew Squared so hungry to go ahead and even up these stocks. Boy, and Mew Squared. Wow! Down tilt side B forward air? Mew Squared. Yeah, Mew Squared. Mew Squared had some trouble for a good, for a hot 20, 25 seconds where he was uh, messing up on his double jump spacing and he was getting punished for it hard, but right there, not even close. Yeah. That down tilt to side B was awesome. I just love the little adjustments, right? The slight adjustments as to when he chooses to act into that order, I think have been giving him a lot of success. Good job by Jason getting that jab there. So sometimes a little bit hard to find, especially against a character that's in the air as much as uh, Mewtwo is. He's putting on a nice amount of damage so far. We haven't seen the platforms really come to play as much as I thought. Right now, Jason doing a little bit of that top platform camping. Understanding that Muscred probably has to commit to uh, a double jump more, more than likely. Uh, I think that maybe at, if he's top platform camping, Muscred can maybe do something like an up air. But even still, that can be pretty telegraphed overall. Well, we've been seeing a lot of platform play, not necessarily in the uh, I'm going to bait you into this but more just hopping around and maneuvering um, around each other and just kind of watching what's happening. That's true. Definitely a factor. And, you know, we saw Jason drop down with an aerial last time, but Musker is going to be finally scooping him up here. Jason trying so hard to end this stock. You saw that up smash. He can taste game number two, but he's not quite there just yet. Yeah, obviously going to be very volatile. Uh, Musker can easily set this out with his favorite... We're not going to be seeing that favorite combo, though. I'm well, going to be seeing the favorite combo. That up smash, very well placed, especially when you have Mewtwo like that. Again, he's so light and he's so floaty. He can be so susceptible to some of those kills. But Mew Squared, we got to watch that. I wish we could watch that replay again, man. Can we replay the re Yes, we can. Typo. Oh, my God. Mew <laughs> Squared knows his combos, and he cherry-picked that one. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, oh Mamiya, yeah, that's oh, a spicy yo, that's meatball. That was a spicy meatball. Can we call that combo the spicy meatball? <laughs> Why not? Dude, the spicy let's, meatball, let's, let's coin it right now. That's the spicy meatball. I really like this counterpick that we're seeing from Mew Squared. Uh, I think that because of the edge in relation to the side blast zones, it's going to let him get those back throw kills a lot easier. Uh, and that's going to help him out a lot. We haven't really been seeing too many airborne KOs, mostly side-based KOs whenever it comes to uh, Mew Squared's KO options. Yeah. Um, also, a uh, much lower blast zone off the top, which of course it helps Jason, but um, nearly all of Mewtwo, uh, I mean, nearly all of Mewtwo's kill options are off the top wall. Fox still has down smash or golden smash. I thought we might see something off the platform being that far over to the right. I did too. He always kind of makes you catch your breath. This is what we were waiting for from Mew Squared. He wants to go ahead and really punish Jason for some of those overly aggressive options. Expect a lot of shields, especially whenever it comes to Mew Squared being in that corner. Something that I wish I would see a little more from Mew Squared is maybe storing that Shadow Ball for later and not getting it the full charge and then just immediately throwing it out because anybody who's watched him play knows that he's going to do that just about every time. But, uh, of course, you couldn't see that up smash coming. Oh, definitely not. Mew Squared was so good in that last game of shutting out the stock quickly. And he almost did so, but some nice counter DI there from Jason. He didn't want to DI out and set up for the forward air. Instead, I think he may have DI'd in to set up for the up air instead. The lesser of two evils. So Mew Squared with, the, uh, with an empty shield drop, and Jason called him out and just up tilted him right in the face and uh, got a nice combo off of it. Oh, wow. I love the wave from Mew Squared. Mew Squared's patience is, I mean, understandably so with this character, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, wow. Back at center stage. The player's kind of weaving around a bit. Mew Squared, despite having a really strong uh, st uh, stock Requiem in, in game two, hasn't found that same level of success here in game three. Jason at 150% presents problems because look at how much extra credit he's been getting, Elkabon. Yeah, 61% uh, already, and that's going to be the up throw off the top. 
but e squared has got a uh, veritable hill to climb. Oh, yeah. Going to be very, very tough. He, we just saw that there again where Mew Squared charged a Shadow Ball and said, all right, I'm going to throw it. And Jason said, all right, I'm going to shield. It's just how it goes. Just how it goes sometimes. I mean, what happens? Jason maybe goes for the Reflect, Mew Squared reacts and does the side V. Uh, would that be enough to potentially break the Reflector? Um, I think it would take two. I think it would break the Reflector, but, like, he wouldn't be able to use it again. But uh, Reflector not even a factor. Up Smash once again. Sealing the deal for Jason. I think that might have been his first drill up smash kill in that set. Which is uh, surprising that he'd only get one. But Was uh, that your first drill up smash kill in that set? That's first crazy. One. That's Confirmed. crazy. But, but like we said, if you can get one of those confirms on point, oh, so nice. So nice. 